Good afternoon from the Disney Riviera Resort, Disney World's newest resort on property. It's also a DVC resort uh, themed to the European Riviera. This resort opened up on December 16th, 2019 and is a wonderful addition to the Walt Disney World property. It also has access on the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios and Epcot, which we'll be utilizing on our stay here. And we're here for the next four nights. Yes. On Disney property, where we're gonna be staying on a staycation. And we're inviting you guys to join with us. Let's go. All right, here we are at the Riviera Resort. We're about to go inside and check into our room. You'll see here on this sign when you first walk in, urging you to complete your online check-in on your mobile device. And they will let you know when it's ready. All right, here we are, 8468. It worked. Wow. <laughs> what did we purchase? Wow, I'm in the room. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Oh. Rainfall shower head. Oh. What'd you see, Jen? This is Mademoiselle Mouse. Look at her go. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Jen? It's really big. It is very spacious. Wow. Do you want to go see the view outside? Yeah, wait, let me get my sunglasses again. Oh, we got a good view! Oh, wow. Wow. We that totally works. did. It's a spectacular view. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you can see the skyliner off in the distance. And Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach, the pool. The butt of the elephant. Yes. You can see the butt of the elephant. All right, I'm relaxed now. This is the deluxe studio with a preferred view. Yeah. We're gonna give a quick tour of our deluxe studio room at the Riviera Resort. With a preferred with view. With a preferred view. So you'll see right here, right when you first walk in, is a nice spacious corridor. That right there is the door that conjoins to the adjacent room, but we won't be using that. And here is our closet. With automatic light. Oh. With a safe. And an extra pillow and blanket. <laughs> and then to the right is the bathroom, complete with a rain fall shower head. That's pretty spacious. <laughs> as you hit it. <laughs> so you see you got your little bench, the soap dispensers. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. I like the marble, good touch. And then over here is the bathroom vanity. With a shower, a second shower, <laughs> or a bathtub, I guess. Tiny bathtub. So you can have two showers at the same time. There's your soap dispensers, and you'll notice it says cleaned. And then as you leave this door, because there's another door right over here, as you leave this door, You've got the little kitchenette. They've got tea. Well, they do have tea. And coffee. And coffee. <laughs> and some plates. And <laughs> plastic cutlery. Well, it's DVC, so. Yeah. Cabinet oh, with a toaster. A can opener. And a bottle opener. You got your microwave. Can you reach it? Oh, no. I don't think there's anything up there, but. Oh, nah. it's a vent. It's a vent. <laughs> and then you got your Cuisinart coffee maker. Trash can. Extra TP. Extra TP and cleaning supplies. And your mini fridge. Oh, you should 
turn that on max. So right here you have your, it's a Samsung 55 inch television, high definition, which is pretty cool. I'll show you what that is in a second. And we got our bed. Looks like a queen size bed, I guess. Queen size bed. Well, you'll also see right here that they have this little placard that tells you about the enhanced cleaning measures that the resort has taken during this time. Some of the things they've cleaned, door handles, knobs, light switches, closet amenities, all sorts of fun stuff. So you can definitely tell that they've taken the next step in making sure everything is clean and safe. You'll also see that they've cleaned and sanitized the remote because it says cleaned. We have our little couch right here. I'll show you what that thing does in a second because that does something cool as well. And then we've got our little nook over here. This is actually where I'm going to be doing some edits for uh, some of our videos because we'll be... <laughs> where Jen will be doing homework. And our view of the resort. We got our nice little chairs. And a nice view. And off in the distance, you can probably see the Skyliners zipping right along. And there's the pool. A little kid splash pad. And right off over there is the Caribbean beach. Pretty neat. All right, so we also have a pull-down bed, believe it or not, where when you pull this down, it reveals a bed with 101 Dalmatians on it. Aww. That's pretty cool. That's neat. And then when you're done? Wait, wait. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> and then when you're done, slides back up. And becomes a couch again. And then under here, go ahead and pull it out, is another bed. It's Pascal! With Pascal on it. Um, the only issue with this is there's no sleeping sloth. No sleeping sloth? Look how cute it is! Like. If I was at? a kid, I would love this. <laughs> like, this is so cute. That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, those are the hidden secrets of the room. So that'll pretty much wrap up our quick little room tour here. I think we're gonna go back down to the car and get whatever is left of our luggage. And speaking of the luggage, since that is not a usable dresser, and it's a bed, they actually have dressers drawers, I should say, right under here, and a place to put your luggage right here underneath the bed. So, pretty neat. Uh, I think we're going to go back down to the car, though, get whatever's left of our luggage, and then, I don't know, maybe do a quick uh, loop around the resort. What do you say, Jen? Yes! A loop around the resort it is. So we've got our masks on as we head down to the car and through the lobby. Maybe we'll get a... Resort mug. refillable mug. Since we're gonna be here for four nights, it might, might make well, sense. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so now we are all settled in. Bags are unpacked. It's about seven o'clock ish. We took some time to relax. Took some time to relax. Had some nice time on the balcony, overlooking everything. The elephant butt on top of the. <laughs> on top of the water fountain, <laughs> kids play area. I think we're gonna go to Disney Springs. For some dinner. For some dinner. I heard Splitsville is open back up. Uh, more sushi. I think we need to go to Splitsville. But first I do wanna check out the store down in the main lobby. Yeah. And we also need to get a resort refillable mug. Yeah. Since we're gonna be here four nights. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. But masks, we gotta mask up first. Well, it's too hard with one hand. Okay. <laughs> so something that we've noticed that her sprinkled throughout oh the lobby I want these. or the hallways. Look at these cool paintings. Oh my God, I want They're so cool. You got Ariel, got Rapunzel. That is so cool. There's more. And then you've got Snow White and Cinderella. <laughs> Oh, Cinderella is your favorite. She is. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
One of the neat things about this resort is that it's themed to Walt Disney's many travels to the European Riviera. Thus the name, Riviera. How cool. That's so neat. All right, let's go into the La Boutique to see what new merch they have and what resort specific merch they have. Because I know they have resort specific merch. Here's some of the pins that they have with the Riviera. It's pretty cool. It's rated silver, which means it's $9.99 for that one and $15.99 for that one. We'll probably be getting one of these. So here's a Disney Riviera Resort specific merchandise. Magnet for $12.99 in a note card set for $29.99. That's pretty neat for $24.99. Is that an ornament? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I got a postcard for $3 and a notebook for $24.99. So here you've got a Riviera magnet set for $15 and a patch, Jen, I'm gonna get it. for $15. You got a lenticular postcard for $4.99. The postcard generic one for three. You can see the Skyliner. And then different phone cases for $29.99. How cool. Check out this Nike golf jacket. It says Disney Riviera Resort. It's for $90. It's like that navy blue. That's really cool. And the polo. Jen says I can't have polos until I stay at the resort, so I guess this is gonna be one that I get. And the price, $70. You got luggage tags for $9.99. And Jen was saying that there's three little notebooks in here. It's a notebook collection that's exclusive to the Riviera for $19.99. And you can get this giant piece of luggage for $1.99. <laughs> it's kind of pricey, but it does say the Riviera logo on the side. It's pretty cool. For $34.99, you can get this Disney Riviera shirt with the raised R. For $14.99, you can get this Riviera wine glass. And for $29.99, the Riviera hat with Mickey, dapper Mickey. You can get this really dapper looking hat for $34.99. And we got this really neat coaster set for $7.99 for each one. You can see that they've got the Riviera logo in the back. And dapper Mickey and Minnie on each one. And this really neat mug, which I'm probably thinking we're going to get for $19.99. And this ceramic glass mug for $24.99. Disney Riviera pillow for $34.99. And this really nice bathrobe for $149.99. It says Riviera. Wow. A lot of resort specific merchandise here. So in the women's section, we've got this dress and it is $74.99. Seems like it's a pack of a few little bags and it's $45. And then you got this nice, this is really light. I actually touched it just to feel what it felt like. And it's $34.99, long sleeve, soft. You like that hat? $34.99. $34.99, I'm gonna have to try that on. I like the gold. Yeah. We've got this hat here for $34.99. And it says La Vida e Bella. So if you know what that means, let us know. <laughs> it's really cute, actually. I like the bow on the back. <laughs> and then you got this shirt, which looks really comfy. And it's $44.99, $49.99 for that beach bag, which we might actually get. We need a new one. It's so. cool looking. Yeah. And then you got this 4x6 picture frame, which is $24.99. And then you got this 5x7, which is also $24.99. I like both of them. They're really cute. That shirt is $34.99. This shirt here is $34.99 with a gold Riviera on it. And then you got this one, which has a pocket, and it's $34.99. Love pockets. Okay, probably, it's probably $70. It's actually less. What is it? $65. Oh, it's $65, oh, and it's a Riviera Lounge Lounge. That is neat. That is really cool, and even has it, like, on the back. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, right there. Huh. That's really neat. I like that. Mickey and Minnie ornaments for $24.99. This is oh. cool. It changes. It's a heat sensitive mug. So it's a heat sensitive mug 
and it's seventeen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I might get that mug instead. It actually turns the daylight when there's hot <gasps> liquid. Oh in my it. gosh, that is so cool! I'm gonna buy it and show you. <laughs> so then you got this four by six picture frame, which is nineteen ninety nine. I think that's my favorite one out of all of them so far. So then we got this shirt here, and it's twenty nine ninety nine. It's really nice. Okay, so there's this long sleeve shirt, and it, that's the front. How much is it? $39.99. That's cute. I don't know what that means. I know the <laughs> last word is love, but <laughs> what does love, what does it mean? Life is beautiful. Good job, Google. Google it. <laughs> In the kids section, they have Mickey and Minnie keychains, which are $12.99 in their, in their outfits from Topolino. But then they've also got the big versions, and those are $21.99, so all our friends. All right, we're gonna go in Primo Piatto to go get a resort refillable mug. But we need to see what options they have. So we got a sneak peek because they don't let people in there without placing an order on the My Disney Experience app first. So we went ahead and asked the cast member if we can see what they look like before we buy them. And I think I'm gonna get the Star Wars refillable mug because it's in a metal container, so it's a... Metal, like my metal water bottle. Yeah, it's like a more um, insulated one. So I'm gonna get that one. Jen is gonna get the Mickey Mouse one because it has like all the different generations yeah. of Mickey on it. So and I brought my metal water bottle so I can just transfer yeah. it if I need to. And it's free refills for the entire stay. Yeah. Um, but during the current situation, they said that all you have to do is show them to a cast member and then they will pour the drink, whatever you want, into a cup for you so you can put it in there. Uh, just an added layer of uh, protection on that. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and place the order since we're gonna be here for four nights. And then uh, maybe have a few sips of it, relax by the uh, lagoon before we head back up to the room to drop them off and then go to Disney Springs. Yeah. What do you think? Uh huh. Let's do it. Oh, that's cute. It's Mickey. And it's got a Mickey premium bar. <laughs> it does. And a Mickey waffle. Oh. And then what did I get? The wow. Star Wars that's one. Than mine, I think. Ooh. That's cool. That is pretty neat. So what they tell you to do is you tell them which one you want, they will pour it into the cup. You actually get more than you get in the cup. Like, there's extra. They will pour it into those paper cups and then you put them into the refillable mug. Mmm. Oh, lemonade. Lemonade. Good old lemonade. Yeah. Oh, I love lemonade. I forgot <laughs> how much I love lemonade. So I have to say, Jen, I'm digging this insulated cup. I told you. It's nice. Keeps things cold. All right, going back into the room to drop off our resort refillable mugs. And then we're going to take a bus over to Disney Springs. All right. You stay there until we come back and stay cold. It says bus transportation that away. So now we're going down to the bus port. So it's interesting how they set up this bus station. It looks like there's four different stops and they've got this little directory here that says bus port number one is for Magic Kingdom and then two is Epcot, three is Studios and four is Animal Kingdom, Blizzard Beach, Disney Springs and Typhoon Lagoon. So we have to go all the way down at the very back. We are at bus station number four waiting for our bus. And they've got these monitors up here that tell you what time the parks close and each different area closes. And it even tells you, check that out, for Epcot it says use the Skyliner. And for Studios it says use the Skyliner. Makes sense, it's connected with the Skyliner. But we're going to Disney Springs, so it says we have to use the bus service. It looks like the buses run until 11.30 p.m. But Springs actually closes at 10. So it's about an hour and a half past closing. You'll see they also have plenty of physical distancing markers even on the benches here where it says for your safety not available not available available maybe. So here we are at Disney Springs just got off the bus right back there. It took eight minutes. It took only eight minutes to get here not far. So I think we're going to go check out Splitsville and then maybe even go into World of Disney and see if there's anything new merchandise-wise. I'm hungry. Gotta eat first. 
so it doesn't look too busy here at Disney Springs. But I wonder if some of the stores have closed. They might have closed early in some of these. Yeah, some of the places are closing early still. Here's another reminder that face coverings are to be worn at all times except for when actively eating or drinking while stationary and physically distanced. I'm ready to eat. You ready? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to be back at Splitsville. Also, check out the construction progress on the M&M's experience that will be coming soon. A lot of construction. So Jen, how was Splitsville? It was good. Did you like your burger? Oh, I inhaled it. I the chicken's like... also really good too. Yeah. Reminds me of the Metro Diner. Oh yeah, so good. All right, so now we're gonna go to World of Disney? Yeah. Check it out, see what yes. they got. All right, here we go in the world of Disney, in the main entrance. Hey, Jen, there's the new Wishables. They're cute, but you the can't The Monsters, Inc. It looks like, I think that's the ride in California. Yeah. That's where it's from. It's, oh, that's right. Mike and Sully to the rescue. That's from the ride. I want Boo. What does it look like on the back? So there you go, you got Boo, Mike Wazowski, the Monstropolis Transit Authority Taxi, and Roz off in the corner. Those are the four options. <laughs> we got a Haunted Mansion oh. stretching room poster set. Yeah, I'm buying this. Now, the fun thing about this, Jen, because huh? I saw pictures, the puzzle pieces are stretched. They're like elongated. No. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah, see, look, look. Actual uh. size. It's like stretched and it's $29.99. Buy it. Oh, <laughs> you getting it? So here are some desk signs. First $12.99 says if you can dream it, you can do it. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Welcome foolish mortals. They got all down here. Off with their heads. Don't just fly, soar. And my happy place, and it's the castle. All for $12.99. That'd be cool if you had a desk just to kind of sit them on. Taking a look at some of the shirts they have. They have this new one that says, yeah. $24.99, it's got a goofy mat. A nice retro Walt Disney World Florida shirt for $24.99. I really like that shirt. Here's the new Tropical Mickey for $36.99. It's pretty, uh, I'm getting tropical vibes. There's this one too. Oh, there's that one as well. Also $36.99. You can see it's got palm trees on the lettering. A nice little container here with palm trees on it for $22.99. So check this out. It's got Walt Disney World in like palm trees. And on the back, it's a giant Mickey with palm trees. I like this tropical collection. How much is that one? Uh, looks like it is $59.99. And they got shorts too. $39.99. For $39.99, it's got Mickey and some palm trees. And they got this new Jungle Cruise shirt for $24.99. It's got all the different parts of the ride, the Congo River, Backside of Water, I'm in Denial, all the inside jokes. And for $19.99, you can get this backside of water canteen but it's funny you can't see it until you look straight on where it says there it is the backside of water so it's backwards on this side but forward when you look through the water you can get this giant jungle cruise skipper bag for 49.99 now it looks like for 19.99 you can get somewhat of the same type of inside joke, but this time with the skipper, and it says, the amazing, the colossal, the stupendous, the eighth wonder of the world, and at the bottom, the backside of water. I think I like that one more. They got this Jungle Cruise shirt. It looks like it's on a youth mannequin, but they have some of the adults right here for $24.99. It's got the elephant squirting water. How cool. And for $36.99, you can get it on a shirt, it looks like, the same catchphrase that they had on the bottle right there. The amazing, colossal, stupendous, eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. Oh, and you got a field guide checklist shirt with all the animals. That one's $19.99. I don't know if that's youth though, even though it's on a small mannequin, because it looks like they've got some in different sizes right here. And they got this Jungle Crew shirt for $36.99. And you'll see it's got the artwork of the skipper on it. Having 
pun in the jungle. What'd you get, Chan? You got that puzzle, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. It's hard to tell in the dark. It's there. I promise. It's there. All right, you want to check out the pin store? Yeah. All right, let's go check out the pin store. Check out these new mystery pins. It's the happiness is, and then it shows you the different things that create happiness. I tell you what, Mickey ice cream bars bring me happiness. Oh no, I'm just happy to be here. Same, Forky, same. I might have to get that. Check these out, these are new as well. How fun. Toy Story. Wait for it, wait for it. Play all day. That's my favorite. <laughs> I am a beautiful butterfly. I love it. And they got the Muppets. And um, Care Bears. Care Bears. Or Gummy Bears. Oh, look at the Polynesian pin. Oh, that is fun. Oh, wait, keep going. Test track. Travel the world. That's cool, and then that one's cool too. Oh, wow. And then they've got the Jungle Cruise, which kind of goes in line with the merchandise we just saw. They got some good ones. For $27.99, you can get this Magic Kingdom one where it has Tomorrowland, Main Street, Fantasyland, and Adventureland. So four for $27.99. All right, so I think we're gonna go check out the art store now because we just got done with the pins. I think we have to check out the art and see if there's any new artwork. Jen, did you like that? The Cinderella artwork? Oh my God. How much is it? Uh, eighteen thousand seven hundred. Eighteen thousand seven hundred. Eighteen thousand seven hundred. Oh, the middle part. Oh my. Thirteen thousand five hundred. <laughs> smaller parts. <laughs> no thanks. Well, that was a fun, really quick breeze through of the art of Disney Store. But I feel like I stared at that Cinderella painting you for a good did. like ten minutes. You did. I had to pull you oh, away. Every time we go in that art store, I always remember the time we met Disney artist Brent Owens. Do you remember that? Yeah, he was nice. That was so cool. He actually did the attraction poster for Happily Ever After, the fireworks show over at Magic Kingdom. If you haven't seen that video yet, you need to hit the link down below and then the top right hand corner. The time we actually met Brad Owens. Very nice guy. Yeah, it was Very fun. cool. All right, where do we go? Number 21. Oh, there we are. Number 21, the Riviera Resort. Must be this way. So this will be kind of interesting. We've never actually ended our day at Disney Springs and went to a resort. Yeah. Usually we just go home. Actually, so. this is our first time staying on property together at all. Besides Vero. You're right. Vero and Hilton Head. You're right. Yeah. We stayed at Hilton Head and we stayed at uh, the Vero. Vero Beach before we had the YouTube channel, but we've never actually stayed on property together. So yeah. what a unique experience for everyone. So we have the longest walk to the bus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're like all the way around. Oh well, a, a new experience. Jen was right, it is way over there. We came out from that way and we have to go all the way back here. And then we got a pretty decent walk to the room too. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of walking. I didn't think we'd have to do so much. Here we are at the Disney Riviera, where we're about to wait for our bus. But first, oh yeah. So we are back at the Riviera, yeah. just like that. It's like a five minute bus ride. Yeah, it's But we're here, and I think we're gonna go back up to the room and uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep, because we've got an <laughs> early day tomorrow where we're gonna be going to Hollywood Studios, hopefully to ride Rise of the Resistance. I've ridden it once, but this one has not. I tried once, so. I didn't even film it, so it was so sad <laughs> I didn't get it. So we're gonna try. <laughs> we'll definitely get a Ronto wrap though. Uh -huh. I mean, that's tomorrow, we'll deal with that tomorrow. It already. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. <laughs> so we're gonna head up to the room right now. Well, that'll do it for us here on day one, or night one, of our staycation at the Disney Riviera Resort. Did you have fun? Yeah, I'm tired. We, we got a whole day of fun planned for tomorrow mm -hmm. at Hollywood Studios. So, if you like that video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to join our adventures, Jen, tell them what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to become a super subscriber. Till next time, see, see you real soon. soon.